Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shanae Nicole, his millennial housewife, and welcome to day three of the Proverbs 31 and 22 challenge. So today we are on verse 12 in the King James Version of the Bible. It reads, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. And remember the she that we're talking about is that virtuous woman, the woman that has great worth and value to her husband, the woman that he can trust and rely on. She is us. She is we. <laughs> um, and today we're learning that she does him good and not evil all the days of her life. So this is important um, because we obviously have the ability to do our husband evil. Um, that word, it actually means ill, hurt, um, wrong, or trouble. So there's different ways that this can show up. But um, one of the main ways that I think is with our words. You know, we can tear our husbands down. We can discourage them. We can quench the very dream that God placed on the inside of their heart because we don't understand or we don't see it or simply because we, we like the comfortable life that we live, you know. So we don't want to to aspire to anything else because we don't want to have to deal with the discomfort. And so as a result, we, we discourage our husbands from um, achieving and aspiring um, for, our, for our own families, you know. Um, we can nag him <laughs> until he just is ready to go to work he like i can't wait to leave because you talk too much you know what i mean <laughs> so th these are ways that we can do him harm we can do him evil you know i talked about the influence that we can have over our husband so we can really do something to to their spirit so we want to make sure that we're using that influence to really build him up and encourage him you know if he has a dream in his heart you know, you're saying, like, baby, you can do this. I believe in you. You know, and it's not like a blind thing, like, uh, oh, whatever you say, honey, uh, I'm just here, <laughs> whatever you like, you know. It's not like that. <laughs> you can be honest with him. You know, you can tell him when you don't agree. You guys are a team. But ultimately, that heart attitude is to, to be there for him, to encourage him, to serve him. And that, that servanthood, I believe, is what what I got when I read all the days of her life. She's doing good all the days of her life. So it's like, as long as I live, I'm going to look for a way to bless you, babe. I'm going to look for a way to do you good. So now it's not necessarily based off of what I get back. You know, I'm not basing it off of what he does for me or what I can get. I've just made the conscious decision, like, I'm doing you good regardless. And when we do that... We, we free ourselves up to really become the, the wives that we need to be, to become the women that we need to be. Because now it's not all about what we want, but about what God wants, about what his word says. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and we do him good. So now I can ultimately help him become the leader, the father, the husband that he needs to be. And that's doing him good emotionally. So giving him comfort and I talked about encouragement like if he had a rough day at work you're there you're listening being a listening ear and you're not thinking about the other 10 things that you got to do you're actually being present you're there physically for him you know he has those those um sexual needs and you're there to fulfill those things being there for him intimately and even socially like you're not talking about him to your friends and tearing him down you know talking about everything that he does wrong no, you're building him up even when he's not around, right? And so this is ultimately what I believe this particular verse is talking about. So I want you guys to find a way to do your husband good today. And even if you're single, you know, start looking for ways that you can do this so you can be prepared when that husband comes and finds a good thing. <laughs> um, so I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a great day.